What's going on, you guys? It's Rolling Talk 99. Now, MKBHD just released his 251 sneakers because apparently his first ever YouTube video he did, or his first ever YouTube video he did, was 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And he made a point a while ago that you should look through your old footage and laugh a little bit and be a little humiliated too. Um, so, on September 14, 2021, I launched my main YouTube channel, um, Yankees Hall 99. A month into this, on October 14, 2021, I started the Epic Fail Epic Success Food Review Series. However, Epic Fail, our Epic Success video I ever did on this channel. Because what happened was, one night, when it was a month into this channel's history, and it was the Yankees off season this year here, I decided I'm gonna do a food review series, but I want to be creative with it. So I called it Epic Fail, Epic Success. I don't know why it's just Epic Flop. I was trying to put Epic Fail, and I guess I fucked up the thumbnail. Oh boy. So anyway, we're gonna do this. Six and a half minutes. And this is what I did Papa John stuff, crust pizza, and the six cheese cheese sticks. <laughs> Let's do this! Oh boy. I do know I use the ways nice on the shrimp. I know that much. What's going on, Holic Nation? It's your boy Yankees Holic 99. And today I'm going to try a little series, a two minute food series. It's going to be called Epic Flop or Epic Success. Where I try. Oh, I did say Epic Flop. Huh. But then I guess I changed my mind in one of the epic fail or epic success. Certain foods, I'm going to tell you if it's an epic flop or an epic success. For our first episode, we have Papa John's, we have their six cheese sticks, and we have their epic stuffed crust. So let's see if it's a flop or if it's a success. We're going to start with the cheese sticks first, get that out of the way. And first you know what's weird? I actually had the intent to call it Epic Flop, but I guess I changed my mind on the Epic Fail. I don't know. First, presentations look bad, okay. so I gave her a piece to my mom. I did not eat a piece on the way home, so let's try this out. This was uh, all the other $22.49. Uh, he does $14.38, so I guess the bread are like 7 bucks or something. So this is what the bread looks like. Still got mm. that rubbing stat too. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Let's try with the sauce real quick. And I'll do cheese or cheese dipping what sauce. What was I watching? Mm. Oh, this and that. I was talking about Paw Patrol. That's what it was. Because I had a habit of filming with background noise mm. on. I don't know why. That is good. So the six cheese cheese sticks. I'm going to say are a epic success. I definitely recommend buying these. These are so good. It's tasty. It's delicious. A lot of cheese. Oh my god. So okay, for the record, I don't even know where I have put that shirt. The um, October Rain shirt. That was from when they won the AL East Division in 2019. As it says here, AL East Division champs. Um, I don't know what the fuck I did with that. The it's bringing it home. My dad actually has that shirt. So. Oh. That's an epic success, honestly. Like cheese sticks that were like, I don't know, like the foot long of a bread like Pizza Hut and Domino's do, I guess. But to each their own. So let's get some juice. Let's come to the pile real quick. Back when I would drink out of the fucking container. I really try not to do anymore. Alright. Now the epic stuff crust pizza. Again, I gave a slice to my mom. She wanted to have some because she hate for it. Join me there and get it. This Which is was fair, my like. mom. 
actually did drive me there to get the food, and she went out of way to do that. So, like, I gave her a little bit of each, I think. Um, so. So, I get the sauce. Try one with or without. So, this is what they call... <gasps> Bruh. <laughs> I was, like, trying to be careful opening that. And I guess their garlic dipping sauce, like a liquid, and it went over my hand, as you see. It went over my shirt. I had to pause that video, pause that part, and then I had to change in order for t-shirt. <laughs> Bruh, it just like went all over the rug. And it went on the rug too. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Putting that now that I think about this sooner later, one eternity later. Guess it took me a bit to get changed. All right, we're back. My apologies. The garlic dipping cup here got on my hands, made a mess on the rug, and it got on my shirt. So I just switched shirts like I had a spare here. So Do you back think to was the judge team? tea, or is this Gary Sanchez who still with us? I don't remember. Okay, so it was one of those two. Cheese, Paul. I don't think it was Stan. Okay, this is there. What they call there. Epic stuff crust. So far as other guy, I had like a six foot cheese pull just now. So let's try this. Yeah, it was pretty cheesy though. We'll see. That. All right, so far so good. I think I got cheese on that order. I don't remember. I haven't been to Papa John's in forever. This is good. I don't think I've been there in like a year. Um. Okay, so for the record, I haven't been to Papa John's for probably like a year. One, because their prices are way pathetic now. I mean, you're better off going to Pizza or Domino's, in my opinion, and paying a little extra for their quality. That's number one. Number two, what happened was when I tried to pre order food for the Pro Bowl, yeah, so trying to watch the Pro Bowl and was a thing last year. Um, bite me. Um,. I asked my dad, I said, can I get some food for the Pro Bowl? He's like, yeah, sure. I was off from work that day. It was like dead of winter or something. And, um, my dad was looking for me, what's going on? He's like, you can't pre-order weeks in advance. You have to wait until he's 30 years or some stupid bullshit. I felt like he made that up. And out of precaution, I haven't really been back to Papa John's, so... You can get them on DoorDash, and now they don't have a delivery fee. Thank freaking God for that. So I might start doing Papa John's reviews now, too, again. It's been a... Uh, I don't know. It's been probably a year, year and a half since I did a Papa John's review. If any of my loyal fans know when I also did a Papa John's review, um, you are more than welcome to tell me in the comment section below if and when I did the last one. So, Okay, moving on. Mmm. That is definitely good. Let's try that on the garlic real quick. And the thing is, I call the series Epic Fail, Epic Success, and then the top of the description terrible, is so I don't think I'm Epic Success or Epic Fail. Mm. So, right here, where it's just Epic Success, Epic Fail. Take fail, put more successes, and put success for fails. That's what the series was. And I and I want to say this for the record. I recorded my phone. I think I do with my phone. I recorded my phone. Except the game live stream. I do that through uh, on YouTube. I don't really fuck with Twitch anymore. On YouTube, I um, use the PS4 built-in um, broadcast software where you should write for the system. So, um, that's all that I don't record my phone with. Um, which is weird. Well, to me, it's weird, but maybe not to you. Um, but, like, the vlogs I do, which I got to film on today, um, because it's Friday, and I need to, get to take a vlog out. Um, and, like, my food reviews and rants and recap videos that we play Yankees and stuff is all done on my phone. When I first started doing YouTube on here, on the main channel, I had an iPhone 12 Pro, so, like... And, you know, I got fucking meat hands. I got these stubby-ass fucking hands. 
Um, and now I'm uh, two years into this, or oh, two years in September, September 14th. Um, I actually upgraded. I got a Galaxy S23 Ultra now, which is fucking amazing. If I had known Galaxy was like amazing already, they just up their game every year. Their Apple can't beat them. I would have made the Switch a lot sooner. Like, I'm not even kidding with you guys. I would have made the Switch a lot sooner. Mark my words. So. Also, all the thumbnails I make are through Adobe Express on my phone, too. I make the thumbnails on my phone, too. Um, I'm not the type of person where I'm going to spend thousands of dollars for a camera and camera equipment. When I can get it for cheap and use my phone to do it with my phone. If you, get, if you um, catch my drift. So. Anyway. That is really, really good. For the record, it was. Honestly, this is an epic success. I give the Suncrest Pizza a 9.5 out of 10. It loses half a point because it's, it was like 14.30, which I find to be a little absurd for a Suncrest Pizza. Yeah, because like, you get a pizza, you get a Suncrest Pizza, it's like 10 something, I think, or 13 something now because of inflation. Um, I'm not going to mention the inflation. I don't want the comments to go, section to go nuts over politics, so. And now it reminds me, anyone who has a political view, do not bring that shit on my channel. I don't care who tell me during my live streams, but don't, I don't want anyone fighting over politics. I get it, our president sucks, but please try not to fight over politics because the comments are political. Because I really don't have the ability to comment or in the comments, but if it gets too political, I will start restricting the comments because I just don't have time for politics and drama. And you guys should know I don't tolerate drama that well. So, <laughs> moving on. The six cheese cheese sticks were amazing. I freaking love those things. So that's a nine out of ten. Really, really good. So, what do I give Pop and John? Because I've lost a ton of weight, you guys have noticed. So, wait, no, I don't need something. And there's six cheese cheese sticks. I'm gonna give this a a Okay, the head back thing was from the endorsement. I guess he does a lot of his videos. So what I try to do is throughout the week, I try to get inspired by other YouTubers like the endorsement, uh KV Production TV, who's a Canadian YouTuber, uh Dean Drops, and I try to be like my own version of them. Um my friend on Instagram, Brandon Devils. If you're a Devils fan, definitely check him out. Brandon Devils official. He has Devils merch. He's a huge Devils fan. He loves the red and black. I guess the red, white, and black. Um, definitely check him out. He does not wear any blue as far as I know. So, like I said, check him out. Brandon Krasavis. He's a great friend of mine. He's a huge Devils fan. I actually was inspired by him to be the Yankees version of him. So, also, the last person I kind of am inspired by to be the Yankees version of myself is Sneaky Jimmy because he's a big Giants fan. So, I just want to explain real quick that when I say my videos, like, let's go, Yankees! Ow! Um, that came from him. His is always like, let's go, Giants! Ow! So, I just replaced Giants with the Yankees. And that kind of is how that whole thing got started. So let's finish this off. Epic success. Thank you guys for watching. And I will make a little this video or something later on my social media. Like, soon why. Okay, for the record, and for those of you here, I always stutter because of my autism. It sticks like a sore thumb, the stuttering. It sucks. It happens on my work when I try to talk to customers. I stutter. I can't say any R words right or like Z or C, the letter after B. It sucks, but I do have limitations. But I will assure you guys this I do not let it stop you. That's for sure. So, doing stuff like this. So, anyway, it was watching and let's go, Yankees. Ow! <laughs> I can't believe I 
fucking put that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, <laughs> but then again, my channel is like a month old at this time, so it's not like a year and a half old. Um, like it is right now. So, what is crazy is, um, I there was a person. I'm not gonna say his name. I gave him a second chance. To redeem himself as being my friend again. So when I cut off in 2019, the year before COVID was a thing, or a few months before COVID even became a thing, um, I gave him a second chance and he fucking blew it. Like, he just blew it. And September 12th, I said, I was like, this is enough. He's trying to cover up his mistakes. So I did was I just cut him off and I, I pretty much I kept, in there, kept it there since. Um, he thinks like he's trying to get me was trying to third so I'm just like, no dude, you're not getting a third chance. I don't do that shit. Um so I was, I was kinda like in recovery mode again, so I was like, I need to escape for a bit. So at that time when I was like closing out a month recovering from my kidney so much teacher, I had August twenty twenty one. He um I uh, started doing YouTube. I really got back in the swing of things. So uh, yeah, this is kinda my escape. Um don't know what to say about that, but, um, yeah, so, if, let me get, see, I'm starting again, like, I did in this video, um, again, it's my autism, I apologize, if you guys want me to react to more of my videos, um, please leave in the comment section below, thank you guys so much for your support, the other reason why I'm doing this is, we are closing in on 50 subscribers, at the time of recording, we're one away, we're one away, so I need one more subscriber and we're at 50. I know it's not a lot. I know it's a small feat, but hey, it means something to me because I've been grinding out quality over, over quantity over the last year and a half. And I just want to pay off. Yes, I'm that type of person, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and let's go Yankees.